Last night, J.D. Wire hosted a panel at Fresno State on the Israel-Hamas war and the historical issues that have long divided Palestinians and Israelis. On this Wired Wednesday, we're checking in with J.D. Wire's publisher, Darius Asimi. Darius, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. So why did you decide to put on this forum? Did you have goals in, uh, in achieving this? You know, uh, good morning, Kim. There's been uh, several protests uh, here in Fresno uh, by Palestinians about this issue. There was an the issue of uh, flag raising. Uh, the city of Fresno raised the Israeli flag first, mm -hmm. and then last week they raised a, a Palestinian flag, and there's been some tension in the community and there's so much misunderstanding about what's going on in that part of the world. Sometimes we hear only from one side. Uh, our media covers, uh, you know, one side. We get very little information on, on really what's happening, where the, really the rest of the world and the rest of the Arab world, almost 500 million people, see a different version of what's taking place. So we invited uh, two scholars, uh, Colonel Somerville, uh, who heads uh, uh, a, a Zion group, a Zion Watchman, the name of his organization, representing the Israeli side, and uh, Hamid Entezam, who's a geopolitical scholar uh, on all throughout the Middle East, to have not a debate, but a panel discussion on the issues, the challenges, why is there skirmishes every few years in that part of the world between Hezbollah, Lebanon, and uh, Israel, you know, Hamas, Gaza, Palestinians, and Israel, and, and Israel, and really, what is the root cause of all these issues and what solutions are available? I mean, so that we don't have to continue to spend uh, blood and dollars and military uh, aid and in, and in, 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 in destroying uh, buildings and human lives uh, and really bring uh, justice, uh, prosperity, uh, and, and peace to that to that region. So we had that uh, incredible panel discussion. It will be on gbwire.com for uh, for uh, some of the highlights. Uh, okay, because I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we only have a minute left, so I really want to find out from your perspective. Did you think that it was a success, and can you give us a note of what that would be? It was an incredible success. Several key points, uh, uh, and the less than a minute to to to, <laughs> to share with the audience. Yeah. Colonel uh, Somerville talked about this land belong, according to the Old Testament, belongs to all of Israel, mm -hmm. all of Israelites, and then the, the Biden administration sending military aid. Uh, and bombs to kill civilians in Gaza, is it against U.S. values? And that was, those are two key things that came up. And then Hamas leadership, civilian leadership, lives in Qatar. Why are we bombing Gaza? And uh, Palestinians don't have a lobby uh, to represent them in Washington, mm -hmm. so they're, they're voiceless. And then more people in the coming weeks will die of disease because of lack of water, electricity, medical supply, blockaded by Israel, than of bombs. Uh, and there was a little bit of a protest last night as well but by Palestinians. But these folks are traumatized. Several folks that we've lost our homes. We've been evicted from our homes by Israel over the last two or three decades. We've been refugees. We had a chance to come to these beautiful United States. But overall, incredible dialogue, great information. All of it will be broadcast again on gbwire.com. Please stay tuned. All right. Uh, Darius Asimi, thank you, publisher of GV Wire. We appreciate you coming on today. And I, uh, clearly, this is a topic that uh, deserves much more time. And uh, we look forward to uh, reading all about uh, last night. Thank you. Great day. We'll be right back.